everybody, it's your boy Doc coming at y'all. It's Wednesday, October 14th. Welcome to Doc TV. I know I have not done a video in like a good while, but I am back, though, you know, class schedule and everything. But I've been doing the radio show, the Doc Report, and also, you know, Twitter and all that good stuff. So I've been doing all that. So I have been updating you all with the news and everything. But I'm about to do a video right now. I got a couple I got coming up today, but this one in particular, it's like a Def Jam thing for the day because, you know, the Hip Hop Honors came on last night. So this one CD right here, I got a review right here. I bought the CD a couple of weeks ago when it came out, on the day it came out. But I did a video, and the video, I was editing it, and things was just was going right. It was going out of sync and everything. It was just crazy. So I said, you know, forget about it. And I'm going to go ahead and, you know, review the CD now. Memoir of Song and Perfect Angel by Mariah Carey. Her new album is stores right now. Debuted last week, number three on the Billboard 200, and number one on the R&B hip hop charts. And it may not be her strongest first week sales, but if you think about it, though, the past Mariah albums, like the ones that's like 20 million and all that, like Daydream and all that, like sold like 100 and some thousand, you know, over like 130 thousand in the first week. So, I mean, you know, this album may have longevity to it. You never know. So, it is what it is. But. Mariah's album, Known as the Perfect Angel, in stores right now. I'm going to tell you all the reasons why to buy it, though, so you all can go ahead and take it up. Because it's a hot album, and some people are sleeping on it right now. But you all got to realize it's a hot album. I'm also going to talk about her remix album on, on later in the video. But here it is right here. You know, you get this nice pack right here. You know, you open it up. She recreates her Butterfly album, um, 97 version. Now we have the 09 version. You can clearly tell the difference, clearly. And then she recreates her debut album that came out in 20... Almost 20 years ago, Mariah Carey came out in 1990, so she retraced the Vision of Love single and the Mariah Carey album cover. And also, you get this little mini magazine right here from Elle Magazine. Mm, this is JC Blueprint 3, pick that up too. But um, this Elle Magazine right here, you know, it's like the behind the scenes stuff with Mariah and everything. Then you get the album liner notes in the back. And she dedicated the album to Michael Jackson and her pastor, um, Clarence Keegan, who passed away earlier this year. And you've heard him before. He was on Fly Like a Bird and I Wish You Well for Mariah's last album. So. You know, and also come with the second CD, which I call the Maxi Single 2. I've said because it's four remixes, and you get the videos for the original version and the one with Gucci Mane. So, you know, that's what it is. And it's a hot album, though, you know, produced by Mariah Carey, The Dream, and Tricky Stewart. They made a great team on this album. One thing I can say about the CD, though, is that I will compare this album sound-wise to Butterfly and Rainbow, you know, because, like, if you listen to it, like, it, it really goes along with those albums, you know. Charm Bracelet, people sleep on that, but, you know, it, it doesn't really go with Charm Bracelet. There are some Emancipation Mimi moments in it, and there are some, you know, some equal MC Square moments, but it, it, like, I would really compare it to, you know, I would really say it's in the same lane of Butterfly and Rainbow, but it's in its own, you know, destination, though, it's in its own lane. So, start off the album, though, you know, I'm going to tell you all, like, a little brief something that's, Synopsis of the album, you know, tell y'all why, why to buy it and everything, like words getting twisted, you know how it is. But, um, <laughs> um, bet you're gonna know the prologue, which is, you know, the first song on the album, and it's actually on the digital download charts. It's doing better than I want to know what love is, so that's telling you something. But the prologue, though, bet you're gonna know, like Mariah's telling the story up there, she is straight thugging on this joint, you know, she's telling the story how she found her man, she and she going in the car driving off, and she, you know, she. In a way, I feel like she's making a threat to do, and he don't know it. And she said to be continued at the end, so it's a crazy song. And I've, that song deserves a part, too. It's one of those songs that you want to know what happened. You just want to see a video for it, too. So hopefully it gets a video treatment and a single treatment one day. Um, you know about says, hate you, having a typical emotional upset. Her new single, I'll talk about the remix later on, but the single is going to be coming out November 3rd on radio. And, you know, this was supposed to be the initial first single, then it was supposed to be the second single, but then it came out with I Want to Know What Love Is, and I Want to Know What Love Is, here's the drama surrounding that. But right number one, I Want to Know What Love Is, is the second single, and they already shot a video for it with Hype Williams in New York a couple of weeks ago. But Mariah said that um, she wanted to hate you. And, you know, Ellen Reed, who I respect as a businessman, he's one of, you know, one of the best businessmen out there, but some of his past decisions on his artists have been a little out of the way, so I haven't been agreeing with him in terms of single choices, but he wanted that single, he pushed for it, and it happened, but it, it's not doing so hot on the charts, but it is doing good in Europe, though, so maybe they should go ahead, promote it in Europe, and do Hate You Over Here, which, they, which they're going to do, so that's a good look. Um, Candy Bling, one of my favorite joints right there, it samples, you know, the hook from, you know, Amaz, back in the day, you know, produced by The Dream, Mariah, and Elo's The Maestro, who did Jay Holiday's Bed, and some other songs. 
and this song sounds like uh, the phone is ringing. I don't know why, but it sounds like the dreams. I love your girl, and Mariah has always said that's one of her favorite songs. So I see why it was put on the album because it sounds like it, and you know it has a nice feel to it. It reminds me of Underneath the Stars from Daydream because like the the airy feel of the song, and um, it's maybe you know one of the hot joints on there. One of the singles that's in consideration. You know one of the uh, one of the potential singles. Inseparable hot joint. Talk about the remix later on too. Standing old needs to be a single A set. That's a hot joint. That would be a top. That would be a radio killer for real. That song. Um, it's a rap. Reminds me of Candy. Um, reminds me of Crybaby from Off the Rainbow City because of the storyline and, and you know the wine bubbling in the beginning of the song and all that. You know the dramatics. It's real good though. And, um, about my face. One of my favorite songs. Reminds you know. I will never forgive the dream though, because if you heard the demo version of the song, the dream said even the Harvard University graduating class of 2010. He, he said university people, university. But Mariah got it right. She said university. It's a hot joint. You know the ending very. You, I'm gonna talk about this in later, but um, the the song though, like it reminds me of Shake It Off from the Emancipation to Mimi. So it's that it got that feel to it. More than just friends. One of my favorites too. Samples. Biggie's One More Chance, you know, in the hook, the remix version, so that's a really good look. The Impossible, you know, Jolie C got a shout out in there, you know, shout out to the crackheads. And, uh, nah, but the song is hot, though, it's that bedroom type of joint, that slow jam. And for it to be such a sexy song, Mariah still got her little quirkiness in there, her little, you know, playful lyrics and everything. And, you know, it's a really good song. It reminds me of Bliss from Off the Rainbow CD, too. Um, Angel. The prelude, the high notes going crazy, angels cry, hot joint. You know, top forty is ready. Top forty radio is ready for that song. That's going to be a really big song on pop radio, I, I think. Language change and interlude reminds me of Hello Small for the Rainbow CD, and that's a really good uh, interlude too. And I want to know what love is close out the CD. Now the CD is hot though. Like people are sleeping on it. I don't know why, but it's a really hot album. Like Mariah's high notes, like this is like the first time in the CD since. In a while that every song on the album, Mariah's hitting the high note. You know, there's some songs on the last album that she didn't hit high notes on, but this one, the octave range, the whistle note is going like crazy. Like, she's really hitting those notes. Another thing is the lyrics on this album. Like, Mariah's one of those artists where you have to listen to her lyrics. And also, I got to shout Mariah Carey out, too, because she is the reason why I pick up a dictionary. Like, of course, I pick up the dictionary just because I want to, you know, back in the day, I wanted to, you know, learn words. So I picked up the dictionary, like, when I was young and everything. But Mariah used so many big words in her songs that you it'd be like, did Mariah make this word up? You know, let me look in the dictionary real quick. So Mariah, you got to listen to her words. Her pen game on this album is crazy, though. Her and the Dream really made a good team. You know, Mariah, you can clearly hear the Dream's influence because Mariah is, like, cursing her ass off on this album. Like, she's saying the F word and all that. Like, Mariah's really thugging out on the CD. And one thing about, like I said, the, you got to listen to the lyrics. Like, the lyrics you'll really find fascinating. You got to just listen. Just listen to the lyrics. Forget the beat. Just listen to the lyrics. She needs to come out with the acapella version of this album, as well as the parental advisory version of this album, because, you know, you'll really hear the things Mariah got to say. And it's a good CD, though, so, you know, you got to pick it up. Memorize Someone the Perfect Angel in stores right now. Uh, another thing I want to talk about, though, is her remix album that's in stores right now. I mean, it's not, excuse me, uh, her remix album is not in stores right now. Her old remix album is in stores, but not this remix album. She's coming out with a remix to, a remix album to Memorize Someone the Perfect Angel sometime early next year. And it's going to have already the hatred remix with Big Boy, OJ the Juice Man, and Gucci Man, produced by Jermaine Dupree. So, so JD got some shine on this album. You know, he um, did the remix. And it's a hot remix of samples, Ghost Town DJ's My Boo, which is, that was on So So Death like years ago. That was a, that's a classic 90s joint, one of the classic 90s joints. So it was really good that Mariah went ahead and did, you know, that classic 90s feel remix to it. So it's a really good look. I think Urban Radio would really pick it up. Also, she got a remix to Candy Bling with T-Pain. And it sounds a little like the dream, I mean, not the dream, it sounds a little like um, Jamie Foxx Blame It, but it's in its own, you know, lane, though. And it's a hot song, it's a hot remix, you know, but that's the thing I love about Mariah Carey remixes, because she's like the queen of remixes, but she separates the songs, like, so you can enjoy the original, and you can love, hate the remix. So that's what I like about Mariah's remixes. And another thing is uh, she's doing a remix with Trey Songz for Inseparable. And uh, I can't wait to hear that because I can really envision Trey's voice up there. So, you know, I think it's going to be a good song. It's going to be a real, a really great remix. So, you know, you just got to um, wait for it, though. And every song on the album is going to have a remix, too. So that's the even better part. So pick it up when it comes out. 
take a memorandum of the perfect angel in stores right now. That's the end of this video.